Good day, this is Steven Dayuzzi, and in this video I want to show you how to teach your child uh, division, uh, single digit numbers, 1, 2, 12. Division with small numbers are very important because if the child can't do uh, the division with small numbers easily, he won't be able to do uh, the division with larger numbers later on, uh, later on as well as he won't be able to succeed in uh, the mental maths because even the basics of mental math lies that the child must be able to master these small numbers very well before he can move on to the other thing. During the COVID uh, and in general, a division uh, is neglected. However, if you look into mathematics later on, division has an equal place to uh, multiplication. So you can't necessarily neglect division. Another thing is that uh, I st all still regard drills as important. The child must, of course, understand the basics, but thereafter he must drill. It must be drilled in him, especially the very small uh, numbers of the division table. I'm not very sure about the range, but I think uh, the range is 1, 2, 5, something like that. Uh, set to example, 30 divided by 3. 12 divided by 2, 12 divided by 4, 12 divided by uh, 6, etc. And we as parents need to progress further than the syllabus, especially if you take in consideration that our maths are from the poorest and is on the verge of uh, having a crisis. Also, the order in which the maths are being taught and the division is very important because you first start with the small basic things and thereafter go to the other numbers. The first numbers are very easy. 2, 10 and 5 are very easy and then you progress thereafter to divide by other things. The child already at this stage in grade 3 is supposed to know half. Uh, you have this and you can have that. You can have that. So... Uh, you first start just re-emphasize half and revise it and then slowly turn over your terminology use divide by six half the half of six six divide by two slowly so that the child can know the um, terminology an important aid in division is a multiplication chart um, the multiplication and uh, division are basically the same. You do get a separate uh, multiplication division chart that you can use, but I prefer to use the multiplication chart so that it, you show the child, but division and multiplication are the inverse of each other. You can also start learning him that the term inverse is in maths used to show opposite. Opposite is inverse. In math, we don't use the term opposite. We say the inverse. That's what you do. You know, math chart is, and uh, the division chart that you can someone make yourself and you can just put the multiplication and division chart. The child will also see if you divide something by 10, you'll simply remove it, uh, the zero at the end. The first step is that the child must learn and understand the concept of division as sharing. So use whatever manipulatives you have, manipulatives or age instruments, that's a big word, coin switch or whatever, man, divided by two, and it will start um, just one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me, divided by, uh, share it amongst five people, you can even put their cups or whatever, five cups representing people, five pictures of people, three pictures of people, share it equally amongst the people, and you, you let him have the three or whatever, share it, and then he, he learns, this is the learn, you share it, divide it equally between that. At this stage, you count out the numbers that you want for the child to learn. If you want to start with small numbers, maybe 12, because 12 is a good number, you can divide it, but uh, therefore you get uh, the uh, imperial system uses 12 and ancient times, I believe there was, I think it was uh, the uh, people in the ancient Iraq that used 12 as a system originally, uh, because 12 can be divided in more 
units are then 10 drachen band 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6, and 12, and then later on you can go on. So um, count it out and also I'll divide it. And first use the term, share it amongst the four people, share it amongst five people, let him just share equally, and he will put it one, 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 one. So you must first learn division is sharing, and then you say divide it between them. And if there is a rest, it, it, it's not so important now. You don't really want one uh, rest. But if they are, are important, you say, oh, that part can't be uh, equally divided. So let us have that uh, as a remainder. The remainder. Let us have that as a rest. Don't worry about it. And uh, so slowly the child must learn that division is sharing. The second step is that the child can learn that unit can be shared or divided manifoldly. And as I said, you can use 12, you can use 24, you can use uh, 36. But do not go too high. I will say stop it around 24. Don't make it too much because uh, so that the child can just play around, uh, get wild, share things equally. The step th third step is where the child must discover that division is the opposite, the inverse of multiplication. You know, you at this stage, you are in the discovery phase. Not learn, just discover. So, um, for example, you take, uh, say there are four kids, let's easily get them five sweets. And you count it out, let the child count one, each one gets four. Now, okay, what is the total? How many sweets do that we have in total? Let the child count. Five, 10, 15, 20, and another way you can count it, or what can you do? You can multiply it. So, what is this? Four multiply by five. Four groups multiply by five sweets in the group, 20 sweets. This is important, this step, and then directly thereafter. Now you grab all the sweets together. You say, if I divide this 20 sweets equally between these four children, each one will get five sweets. And then you count it. You show five for you, five for you, five for you, and five for you. And you get that. that. And when you after that, five for you, you start again at the top and you said 20, 15, 10, 5, 0. So the child learns multi division is the inverse of multiplication. You also learn that division is subtracting things in equal numbers until you reach a zero. So and you, do you know how I, 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 I knew every child must get five sweets? No, you don't know. Then you start it again with something else. For example, another example is, okay, maybe we have four, three horses and each must get three apples. So then you give each horse four apples you know, manipulatives, whatever it is, coins, so what apples, whatever, and then you count, okay, there's three horses, 12, that's the total, and you grab it together, grab it together, how many, how many apples do we have here? 12 apples, now if I divide this 12 apples equally between these three horses, I know each horse will get four apples, and you grab as a four, Give it for each one. And while you give it, you count backwards and subtract it. 12, 8, 4, 0. Child learns, see, how did I get this? And, and you to do it many times, many times. And tell the child, how many times? Uh, can you, can you, can you guess, can you guess? Look, 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 think. Until the child get it right. Yeah, 
Finally, you got it right. Good boy, good boy, girl, or whatever. It is the same. It is exactly the same. It's just the opposite of the multiplication, the inverse. And in math, we don't say opposite. We say the inverse. Then you show him on the multiplication chart. You're supposed to know the multiplication chart. Multiplication chart you, you use from the top. Then go down with your one finger and the other finger from the left hand. Times 5, times 5. You bring the two fingers together is 50. And now the inverse, the opposite is, when you use it as a division chart, you start with 50 and you move your fingers out. Out. 50 divides by 10. One finger moves up. And at the same time the other finger moves out is 5. And so you get it. What is, so you try to teach him what is 70 divided by 10. What, what is 80 divided by 10? First let him know the chart. Then you go around so that he knows the chart. And you can confirm the chart by letting him simply count backwards. Okay? How many times did you count in, uh, for example, in this case, 12 divided by 4 is 3. How many times did you count 4 times? Let him count on his fingers 3 times. He must know that this division chart is nothing strange. He knows it. It is just in writing the things that you know and it is in order the things that you must first understand and know it and get familiar to trust the, the chart not because it's a chart but because it is based on his knowledge of what is right and you again show him step five and is repeated subtraction multiplication first multiplication is repeated addition okay now Division is the opposite, and you show him and give him the definition that he must know. Division is a repeated subtraction. In other words, division is how many times you subtract the same amount from a given number until you reach zero. For example, 8 minus 10, you can show him this chart, you can show him something else. See, 6, and how many times did you subtract 2? How many times did you subtract 5 or whatever until you? Now, oh, it's basically... Same thing is 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, this is wrong, here is 5. Good. How to use a, the, the multiplication chart as a division? This uh, is should you now uh, more formally. This top is a divisor row, in other words, uh, because the child, you, you will now start, uh, let the child learn and start drilling in the, the chart. This is the divisor, the top, the divisor. Here is the, the number, and this is the answer. The column is the answer. Let's make an example. The child no, but you, you will start at 2, but you will 5. And in this case, we use two, 5 as an example. Let the child uses, use both fingers at once. Ne? This is the right hand, and this is the left hand. And in this case, he moves out. He moves out. 20 divided by 5, five and at the same time is, five, is 4. Tw 30 divided by 5, finger moves up, and the other finger to the right is 6. So, and thereafter you start as an adult rhyming it and uh, drilling in it. Um, you must also uh, show the child how the multiplication, the shared between is written. 10 divides by 12, and this is the uh, sign. There are three ways to sign it, okay? To write it down. Practice the reading. What does this say? What does this mean? 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2. Then let him write it. Give me the, for example, ask him, give me three ways how you can write 10 divided by 3. 
20 divided by 2, 5 divided by 1, 25 divided by 5. Let him write it various ways. Ask him. It practices also. Then you can show him quickly the flipping game. Let's play the flip game. 18 divided by th 3, for example, is 6. And you know, you can flip this around. Just like you can use multiplication. If you flip these two around, you will see 18 divided by 6 is also 3. These two you can flip around. Show him. Show him. Flip, you can flip around. But not only you can flip it around in terms of multiplication. If you have the multiplication flip around, then if you play the flip around game, you can put any number there. Logical, of course, and, 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 and what that makes mathematical sense at that stage. Don't push any number. Put the number 20, then divided by 5 equals 4. And then flip around. What, you, what did you, you flip around? Just let me quickly see around. And you can also write it this way because it's the same thing, exactly the same. Yeah, 18 equals 3 times 6. Yeah? 18 equals 3 times 6. So yes, you just flip, you can flip it around division. You can flip it around in terms of multiplication. Play around these games with him inverse multiplication until he gets used to it. This is, you just write it down on a piece of paper. And here write the others. Now you start, the second thing is, after you understand the concept, you must drill it in. And that is, unfortunately, in my opinion, that we do not do in our uh, uh, curriculum. Uh, drill it in. Start by from zero forward and back. Uh, add is addition and then a subtraction. Uh, for example, we use it number five. Um, zero, five, ten, fifteen, go on. And then any... And then backwards also, 60, 55, 50, until such time you can do it very, very fast, very fast forward, very fast backward. You can continue from any number, 5, say what, 20, uh, 25, 30, 30, knows it. Okay, let's count um, back from 30, 25, 20, so you, until he knows what he's doing, very fast, very fast, very fast. Then... You do the table. You do the table. Okay. Starting in this case, we do use five as an example. Five divided by five is one. Ten divided by five is two. Fifteen divided by five is three. Start it slowly, 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 until as we can say it fast, fast. Twenty-five divided by five is five. Thirty. Divide by 5 is 6. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Until he can get as fast as possible. If he knows that, then, then you go to another way. Then you start a little bit random. Throw the numbers around. Is of course that you not only say the 5 in front, but you mix this, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, numbers for the, of this table here. For example, uh, 30 can be divided in 5 as well as 6. So you say then 35 divided by 7 uh, equals 5. 60 divided by 12 is 5 instead of 60 divided by 5. You, you, you throw the numbers around that you know it, that you knows, and uh, flip the numbers around. And after flipping numbers around, you insert other uh, numbers of the uh, division table that you know, supposed to know, 25 by 2, uh, excuse me, 24 divided by 2 is 12, 20 divided by 10 is 2, then you can so much throw in here, uh, 15 divided by 5 is 3, 30 divided by 3 is 10. You throw these around and you mix it because you want the child to know it. What you drilled in, you know, first start slowly, first start slowly. Let the child also get confidence. Let him know he knows it. Be patient with him and reward him. And also, this is a drill exercise. You must repeat it regularly, not once every six months. But every day, every day, a little bit every day, 
don't be worried if the child uh, forgets about it. It's, it's, it's a, it, it, it takes time. We had it and they also have it. Okay. Then you can uh, add and perhaps mix it with other calculations, make this multiplication plus minus this was what. And then the last step is crown it off with word problems. Always try, whenever you have something crowned off with a word problem, if I have 20 apples or 4 apple, uh, horses to feed, how many apples can each horse get, for example, this. Always try to have a word problem because maths is about reality. This, you must, this, this, that section emphasizes it. You can follow this method throughout for the rest of all the numbers. Of course, uh, some elements and some steps you skip because if the child knows, he knows it. Thank you very much for watching this video. We love constructive comments and criticism. Please like and share this video and please subscribe.